We have an interesting hadith by Imam al-Sadiq regarding the similarities of Imam al-Mahdi, may Allah hasten his reappearance, and four of our prophets. The Imam salam stated, in regards to the birth of Moses salam, when Fir'aun or the Pharaoh realized that the destruction of his empire would be carried out by Moses salam, he ordered for the fortune tellers and priests to be brought to him. They informed the Pharaoh of Moses' lineage and that he was from Beni Israel, the children of Israel. The Pharaoh then ordered his men to tear the stomachs of pregnant women from Beni Israel and to look at the child within their wombs and if it was a boy, to kill it. More than 20,000 newborns were murdered as a result, but he was unable to kill Moses salam. This was because Allah, blessed and exalted be he, willed to protect Moses salam. Now this is the same as when the Umayyads and the Abbasids will find out that their reigns and all the kings and oppressors will be destroyed by Imam al-Mahdi. They too will rise up in enmity and do their utmost to kill the Ahlul Bayt and to cut off the lineage of the Prophet in the hope that the promised al-Mahdi will not be born and will be killed before he is born. The Imam salam then explains that Allah, the Blessed and Exalted, will not allow them to achieve this and that with the reappearance of the Al-Mahdi, the world will be filled with light even though the polytheists won't want this to happen and will fight it. There are many similarities between Imam al-Mahdi and Prophet Moses. For instance, it has been reported that when Imam al-Mahdi's mother, Nargis Khatun, fell pregnant, like the mother of Prophet Moses salam, it did not show on her physically, as Imam al-Mahdi's life, like that of Prophet Moses's, was in grave danger. It is important to know that Imam Hassan al-Askari lived under constant surveillance, was taken to prison on several occasions and was surrounded by spies. It has been reported that even midwives who were spies were sent to the Imam's house to inform the Caliph of the time if anyone fell pregnant. The Imam salam, was forced to live in a military encampment and so you can imagine the amount of surveillance the Imam salam, had to endure. Everything had to be done in secret and the Imam salam, wasn't always allowed visitors. Sometimes these rules would be relaxed so some Shia would visit him but other times no visitations were allowed. The Imam was in effect under house arrest, home imprisonment. However, Imam al-Mahdi was still kept a secret and was born secretly like Prophet Moses as Allah willed it.